you may have heard, and yes, it is true, there is a giant dark hole that has opened up in the sun about the diameter of 60 Earths pointing straight at us, spewing powerful streams of radiation. This phenomenon known as a coronal hole can occur at any point throughout the solar cycle. We've been recording solar cycles since 1755, and currently we are at solar cycle 25. The sun constantly sheds solar material into space, both in steady flows known as solar wind and in shorter, more energetic bursts from solar eruptions, such as those known as coronal mass ejections or CMEs. And when the solar material strikes Earth's magnetosphere, it can create geomagnetic storms, much like on a scale of a tornado from a G1 storm all the way to a G5. These events have happened on Earth before, but in a world increasingly dependent on technology, the effects of these storms can now have catastrophic outcomes. The Carrington event, which was a G5 geomagnetic storm, occurred in 1859, and it led to so much interference on Earth that telegraph machines reportedly shocked operators, caused small fires, and aurorae were visible in lower latitude tropical areas. These kinds of CMEs are thought to happen potentially only once every 100 years or so, though since we haven't really recorded many of these events for long respective to human existence, it's still debated. Today, such an event would produce widespread panic, uh, potential damage to orbiting satellites, or even causing them to fall from orbit, navigation and communication failures, mass blackouts, and extended outages of the electrical power grid, and potentially even loss of life. The sun's magnetic field goes through a cycle called the solar cycle. Every 11 years or so, the sun's magnetic field completely flips. This means that the sun's north and south poles switch places. Then it takes about another 11 years for the sun's north and south poles to flip back again. Though we haven't officially recorded many of these events, we can see massive solar events that have occurred in the past through sudden increases in carbon-14 collected in the data of tree rings and polar ice cores. So, back to our coronal hole situation on the sun. What does this mean and what should we expect? Well, don't fret too much, my little clickbait cravers. Experts initially predicted this most recent hole could spark a moderate G2 geomagnetic storm, which could trigger radio blackouts and strong auroral displays for the next few days. However, the solar wind has been far less intense than expected, so the resulting storm has only been a weak G1 so far. And the fact that coronal holes are quite common, they can drum up some trouble, yes, but it's nothing that we haven't experienced before. We entered solar cycle 25 in 2019, and it will reach solar maximum at around mid-2024 to 2025, which is when the sun will have the most sunspots and the most activity. So it is a waiting game at this point as to when the next massive Carrington event level CME will occur at the right intensity, pointing right at Earth. The truth is we don't know when the next massive solar event will occur and it's hard for scientists to properly predict with enough accuracy to give us proper warning. And it has been 164 years since the last huge one. But despite all this hullabaloo and pomp and circumstance, a 2019 scientific peer-reviewed study did find that the chance of a Carrington-like event occurring before 2029 is less than 1.9%. So don't get overly excited at all these space channels sensationalizing. Nevertheless, if one were to occur, it does beg the question, would you be ready? Like and follow for more space content.